New here at 6 o'clock, violent crime in western North Carolina is on the rise. Asheville police are now stepping up patrols while other law enforcement across the region look for more answers to curb crime. So now Congressman Chuck Edwards is hosting an anti-crime summit tomorrow in Asheville to find solutions. And he's hosting multiple law enforcement officials from the area to see what can be done. And we spoke to him earlier to learn more. Congressman, thank you so much again for joining us. Now, we want to focus on this anti-crime summit that's happening on Friday there in Buncombe County in, in Asheville. A lot of the focus is on the increase of crime. What is the goal that you hope to get out of this summit? I hope to be able to, uh, to get elected leaders together, to get our law enforcement together, and look at the, the, the reasons behind the crime increase that we see in Western North Carolina and began putting together solutions. It appears to me that uh, so many folks are operating in their own silo and protecting their border, so, so, so to speak, and protecting their own domain. And we need a larger, wider reaching approach to get solutions to what I believe is the number one issue in Western North Carolina today. I don't go anywhere. I don't speak to any group that doesn't bring up their concern about rising crime in Western North Carolina. I was looking at a lot of the numbers and it had shown that there was a double digit drop in some major crime categories in Buncombe County, uh, robbery down more than 50%. But in Asheville, a totally different story where Asheville, the violent crime rate is historically high, according to the police chief there, up 17 percent, the violent crime rate from 2021 to 2022. How much of a focus will Asheville be for this summit? Well, I, I believe that a lot of folks in Western North Carolina believe Asheville is probably the epicenter for the rise in crime in Western North Carolina. But I'm, I'm not going to focus on any one particular statistic. The big issue here is that folks feel unsafe in Western North Carolina now. We are seeing more violent crime than ever before. We are seeing businesses close early. We're seeing businesses close up. Uh, we're seeing employees that don't want to come to work. We're seeing tourism drop. And there simply needs to be a greater concerted effort to address this issue. Bringing all of them together when it comes to the uh, police chiefs, uh, the sheriffs, bringing them all together in, in one room, how is that going to work out and, and ultimately grow solutions for these problems? Well, we wanna give everyone an opportunity to offer from their perspective what the solution should be. Uh, Solving problems in a community uh, should begin with us acknowledging the problems that we're trying to solve and then listening to one another and forming actions to help improve the lives of the citizens that we represent. From what you've seen as far as the, the rates and speaking with some of these officials here in, in Western North Carolina at the local level, do you believe that it's kind of a, a tougher on crime approach? Is it increase in police presence? Uh, is there a, a bond reform door, or a revolving door, as Governor Master in South Carolina calls it, that needs to be closed? What What is one of the areas that, that you're seeing where it says, you know, that could be the solution there? I think where we have to begin is to agree that there's a problem, uh, to agree that Western North Carolina should not be uh, a, a, another downtown Washington, D.C. or downtown Chicago, I'm, I'm beginning to see, unfortunately, an acceptance of the higher crime rates. And the uh, I, I, I'm going to call it fatigue from so many folks that believe that there can't be anything done about it. Well, I, I refuse to accept that the mountains of Western North Carolina can't again be as uh, safe as they were when I was a child growing up. Anyone who's hearing this here this evening, uh, they know this summit is, is happening. What would be your, your message to anyone in the public about coming out and making sure that they're heard? I invite anyone that uh, 
it ha has an interest to be with us Friday, June 16th at uh, AB Tech at uh, 1230. If you can't come out, I'm also opening up a portal on my website, edwards.house.gov, where folks can uh, log in and share their observations and their thoughts. And I'd love to hear from everyone out there. All right, Congressman, thank you so much. We know Western North Carolina is a wonderful place and everyone wants to be able to go out and enjoy it safely. So, Congressman, thank you. All right, thank you for your interest. And as we mentioned, that summit is happening tomorrow, June 16th, from 1230 in the afternoon to 230 at the Ferguson Auditorium there at AB Tech, as you heard the congressman mention. So again, you can go. It's open to the public. A lot of officials will be there. And it's happening tomorrow, Friday, June 16th, right there in the afternoon.